dead. He's dead. Lights! It's a villain! No, no, that's Japanese! There's no choice! No, I've had enough. Baton! Brigador! You were wrong! We're free now. We're free. We're free to go our own ways. killed others. Borneo. For most of you, Borneo doesn't exist. An imaginary name on a map like Tibet or Tierra del Fuego. The ends of the Earth. But I know the island exists. You see, I was there near the end of the Second World War. My war. My youth. I was a botanist before. I've been a botanist ever since. That's why they chose me, I suppose. Special operations trained me. I was to help lead the tribes against the Japanese. But I didn't lead them, really. No. That was someone else. I knew him. He was the last king of Borneo. It's all right to tell his tale now. The wind has swept away the stench of the corpses. And all that we remember is the flare of our youth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm upside down. Yes, sir. Use your knife. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, Sorry about that, sir. Can a bit? Ah. Comanche. He's a Comanche, sir. He speaks English. Aye, Comanche.
South. Southeast, sir. It pours the center and up. Into the middle of the body. I'll take the first watch. Yes, sir. Well, good night, sir. Good night, Tinker. as white as we are. My name is Fairborn. I'm a British serving officer. Now, why have you done this? As I said before, I'm a British serving officer. My name is Captain Nigel Fairborn. This is Sergeant Lionel Tenga, my radio man. I'm with Zed Force, Special Operations. Japanese are losing the war, as well as the Germans. Our side is winning, am I right, Tenga? Right, sir. Thank you. General MacArthur is back in the Philippines. The Australians will be landing shortly to recapture, I mean, liberate this country. I have the task of organizing resistance amongst the tribes. We need your help, sir. The wind has veered to the west again. The British will be back.
first arrived at this house, they wanted to sell my head to the Japanese. But I didn't know about it. I had to learn their language like a child. They know a little English. It's sacred, religious. I have to explain that you were in the spirit country. My people are the sons of the first man living by the law of the ancients. All we men are free. I have a special relationship with the spirits. I died once. I had to. I had to give up everything, even the will to live. Started in April of 42, just before the fall of Corregidor. When MacArthur skipped out, some of us figured it was time to go, too. I remember the waves, giant waves. Men drowned. <laughs> Japs killed others. I alone escaped. I left the coastal plains and I wandered inland. And then I came to where the real jungle begins. I was suffocated by the trees. I longed for the sky, but I was free. <laughs> free to do what? It was Gwai who brought me here. Of course, it was this dragon tattooed on my chest that probably saved me. I got a manila one night when I was drunk. Lion the Magnificent was all for selling my head to the Japs. He had a bunch of hotheads with him, and they were all steamed up. They were running these people down. <laughs> It was the women who stopped it. They were fascinated by my eyes. They said my eyes were like the sea. The sea means salt, and here, salt is life. Ha <laughs> ha! 
name was you, wise sister. It was said from when she was a child, she was born to rule. Boy. 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 Smacky. with the forest like an animal. For the first time in my life, I was truly free. The men here dream of gods and strike noble attitudes. They want to rival the heroes of the past, the time of Raja Brook and the days of high adventure. For them, it is a man that counts, not life. Kinti Laya, Ujong Barani. Inti ya barani ganam ding long, akuma gan tank kadiri ganai long, kekai nitia jakara tipa tu. Inti ya bula belong akuma ga bula belong. Inti ya patura na rang BC kekai ya numu pori atirias kami. Akun gaulian sama makai asi. Some of the dire. No, but over tall. wounded me seven times. I struck him in the heart. I took him to his mother. We all mourned him. He was a bad man, but they all remembered the little boy who played in this long house. Meine Kinder sind Comanchen. Äh, sind das denn echte Comanchen? Ja, sie erinnern mich an die Indianer, versteht ihr? Wisst ihr? No. Only not like they are in the States, like they were originally. I won't have my people selling kachina dolls and bees by the Grand Canyon at some train. My Comanches will remain Comanches, free men, headhunters. Go on, then. What was that? <laughs> You're really quite something, aren't you? <laughs> Many people from the longhouses came. They came from the Blacklands, and also from the Redlands, where the spirits had fled. Six buffaloes were slaughtered and eaten. It lasted for three whole days. And then on the third day, I spoke. I told you men dream of gods, but you must find the words to fire the dream. I spent a whole year learning the words.
guess it was time I got married. the joy of song and the fellowship of the round table. I had united 22 longhouses, forged a new nation. And well, I, I guess I, I become king. And I guess I became king. It doesn't matter what you do. I'll never go back. What is it you wanted? In the north, the Americans are bombing the Zulu pirates. In the south, other teams like mine are organizing the Dayaks of Sarawak. There'll soon be general hostilities in Borneo. The Australians are going to land. No one has ever controlled Borneo from within. The Japanese, like everybody else, have only inhabited the rim. But when we invade, we will drive them into the center. What will your kingdom be worth then? You can no longer avoid history. This is the forest of the spirits. It's been like this forever. It's a real hangover morning, eh, sir? The great mountain of the dead. Beyond is the plain of elephants. And after that is the sea. I'll have to leave us away to the sea. The Japanese? No, the others, the rest of the world, after the war. We need salt from the sea. What's life without a little salt, eh? As I said, you can no longer avoid history. Look, when I said I was a deserter, I meant it. I quit your world and your war. This is a better world I live in. They don't know about your war. I'm their king. And I don't want them to know. It's almost over anyway. You can finish it without me. And the Japanese? The jungle's a big place. They'll wander around till they die or somebody finds them. But it won't be me. Figure it this way. You're lucky. I could sell your heads to the Japs. Jump off. Well, Tenka. Yes, well, sir, you do have to see it this way, sir. I mean, he really doesn't need World War II, sir. Yes, but World War II needs him. He just doesn't bloody well understand, that's all. You know, sir, this place is not half bad if the sun would come out. Old Leroy might know what he's up to, sir. Watch it, Sergeant. Don't let this life seduce you. Remember, you're British. No, sir. I'm African, sir. Kukuyu, the king's African rifles. I'm almost a savage. You're British, sir. <laughs> yes, thank you, Hornbill. This is Summit 1, acknowledging end of transmission. Over and out. Here we fly from Hornbill, sir. As far as your mad American, Make use of him as necessary, but arrange earliest possible evacuation. Yes, we could expect that, eh, Lionel? Yes, sir. Can't have any king save the one in London, sir. You think she understood us, sir? 
Yes. Maybe not the words, but she understood. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I hope you know, sir. Those are the largest boots in all of Asia. Or well, perhaps the world, for that matter. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, sir. 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 Yes, we have a radio, you know that. Well, the chaps heard it, they know you're here. Or more or less. If we can hear them, they can hear us. And if we stay on a bit too long, they can triangulate. And I suppose we stayed on too long. Look, I'm sorry. Well, that's simple, then. I kill you and break your radio. Well, they've just sent another man with another radio. Listen, you can no longer avoid history. I'm sorry I've said that. History. The world's so full of crap. Sooner or later, you're going to step in it. You call that history? They won't go away. You got some feathers in your hair. I want a deal. A treaty. An ambassador with a sash, the whole banana. Who's the boss? Colonel Ferguson's Ed Force. No, 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 no. The kingfish, the big guy, the banana, top guy. That'll be MacArthur. MacArthur, you expect me to make a deal with the guy that ran out of me? He came back. Oh, well, I forgive him. He'll be grateful. Yes, I'll bet so. What do you want? Freedom. Be like we are. Anything else? Guns. So they can't take the freedom away. Well, I'll see what I can do. And grenades, mortars, and mines, so they can't take the guns away. Yes, I'll see what I can do. No treaty, no war. Oh, you'll do it all right. You'll do it. I know you bosses. You made us hungry, you hurt us. Worst of all, you hurt our feelings. I know because I was in the labor movement. I was a renegade. I was in jail. Hell! I was a communist! If you were a communist, how can you be a king? Only a communist would have thought of it. I wouldn't stay in there too long. That's where the pig shit. Ah, parachutes, parachutes. <laughs> Hey, Your Majesty. They were promised an arrival from the sky. They've seen it. They are content. He wants to touch them to make sure they're not ghosts. Sir. I'm Leroy. This is my daughter. Yeah. Say Quilla. Demolition. It's dynamite day. I'm an American like yourself. OSS. Where are you from? Dave. I've been sure California, a little town just north of Los Angeles. Mm. Lots of orange trees. California. Must be nice. Oh, it is. Sir. Have you ever seen Dorothy Lamore? Oh. Mama. <laughs> She must be something, huh? Oh, she is, sir. I mean, Your Majesty. 
I asked for first-rate NCOs as advisors so that your personal authority could gradually replace Leroy's power. What, well, you mean the king, sir? Well, he seems a good bloke. Hmm. Is he a, really a king? But now he is a king. Your name, Sergeant? Oh, uh, Conklin, sir. Team Sergeant. How do you do? Armstrong. Uh, Brent Armstrong. Heavy weapons. Dynamite day, demolition. How you doing, sir? American. No, oh, yes, sir. Stretch Lewis, mate. How are you? Very good. Sergeant Lionel Tenger, my radio man. Well, I want to stress from the start that we represent Great Britain here, the civilized world, and all that it entails. We're bringing modern warfare to these savages. This is a heavy responsibility. Sir? Yes. What's the deal on the women? Are they free? You know, you're talking. <laughs> Grasp it. Oh, yes, it's quite simple, sir. Looks like they're blowpipes. Only bigger. Teach them that, and they won't be savages any longer, will they? You've got that well organized, haven't you? <laughs> Our days passed, and then an incident. At old Senga's longhouse on the Thrive. Go on, Barani! What is it? See, it can go off like this at any time. If a girl has a child and she dies, then they kill the baby. Now, a girl from this village here, she had a child. She had a son. And she died. Well, what's the fuss? Why are they moving apart? Because the father is from our village. He's a noble, an aristocrat. He took the girl, he died. Now, if they kill his son, it will start a feud, a blood feud. Who is the father? My brother. Why? Where is the child? Bring me the child. Ni Anak! Ni Anak! Anak! These laws do not apply to me, and I come from far away, so I can kill the child. As is the way. Aku! Muna! Anak! Why would you have killed this baby, huh? Why? 
Why would you have let me? sleeping with her? No, no, no. He says he loves his wife, and I believe him. Oh, what's the point of being king if you can't have the gold? Well, he can have anything he wants, but he doesn't. Well, a man is a man. You know him as well as I do. I think he's hiding something from us. There must be something. Malam ni panas di tempat tidurku. Mari ku hangatkan kau. You have no wives. You would enjoy the luster of her thighs and the velvet texture of her belly. That is if you're not too tired. Did you really say that? Well, you're twisting my arm, sir. As he once told me, war must be chaste and the warrior pure. I said that. Mm. I don't trust a man who can turn away from the hips and thighs fashioned by the spirits. But you do. Why? Maybe it's the old morality. I love my wife. He'll go with one of these women. In time. Yeah. You trust me? Yes. If I have a choice between the good or bad in a man, I choose to believe the good. The warrior king. Hmm? <laughs> no, you're the warrior. I'm just a king. <sighs> what do you see up there? Altair. The Southern Cross. There's something here. Something you're not telling me. Must seed the jab. Operations demanded. Oh, how I smile to know they're really out there. No, they're out there, all right. We're gonna split up. One of us will find a jab on the river somewhere. If something happens, we're gonna meet up this open spot. Grid coordinate 32 west by 16 north. You have to wrap your boots. If the Japs see those prints, they'll bomb us again for sure. I'd rather go barefoot. Damn British stoicism. I'd have you carried upside down on a pole if I wanted. And I should. You've got malaria. Seen one before. He's got a rifle too. And a long bayonet. Nasty. Thank you all to have a look, Conklin. No, thank you, sir. I've seen quite enough of them before. My God. He's pissing in the river. <laughs> Just like one of us. Just a man. I've got to get a closer look. 
I've simply got to get a closer look. Quite a while, sir. You the same. You should have been here by now, sir. If we wait much longer, the patrols will be here. I'm not going back without him. He's just lost. He has malaria. How long have I... God, I can't remember a thing. Three days, sir. Oh, Malaria. You haven't been taking your quinine, sir. Very bad. Something's happened. I can feel it. Well, it started, sir. What started? The war. They've landed at Tarakan. Just an Aussie brigade. Just a beachhead. But it'll grow, sir. Stirred up a hornet's nest, they did, I sir. I bet it did. Leroy. Where's Leroy?
You saved my life. I found you. It just happened to be me. Who's Vivian? You kept mentioning her name. She's my fiance. So that's why you wouldn't. I said I never trusted a man who had no woman. I was beginning to worry about you. <laughs> I'll get you what you want. She doesn't believe you. Why not? Because you're white. So are you. When I came here, I wanted to remake the world. I did. I remade my world. But I cannot remake yours. I'll be back with the treaty. You're the only one I can trust. I know. Start the war without me. I don't know how much you mean to me. I've missed you so much. <sighs> but I'm still jealous of your jungle and your headhunters. It's not fair you're having all the fun. Fun? You think that's fun? <laughs> I suppose you still think you're Tarzan, do you? And you think you're Lawrence of Arabia, I'm sure. <laughs> all right. Say a prayer. Right. Now, what about these savages? This whole thing, you've really done it. You know, the first time you radioed in, Ferguson thought it landed on your head. Not far from the truth. He doesn't think that now, does he? Oh, no, he's very proud of you. But the so-called king, it disturbed him. What's he like? He is a king, a real king. Is he yours? Hitler's dead. War in Europe's over. We heard it yesterday. How do you feel? How do you feel, really? You've done a hell of a piece of soldiering, but that's beside the point. If your American believes he's a king, then he's mad. And if you believe it's fantasy, then you're mad. Worst things have happened, sir. Yes, yes, they have. Vivian's like a daughter. You're like a son to me. Do you know how many sons I have trained and dropped in some godforsaken jungle never to come back? Show me that respect, or at least pretend to. Tell me about these Comanches. Well, sir, there are about 600 of them. And they fight of their own free will, depending on their mood. Mood? Yes. Sometimes an entire militia can just march off in a fit of nostalgia to visit some ancient valley. It makes perfect sense if you're out there. It's very hard to understand if you're not. Yes, yes. So? An army after my own heart, sir. Oh, stop it.
You can build them roads and bridges. You can love their women. Sire their children, even. You can learn from them. My God, you can learn. You've got to stay British. It's not contempt. It's a line of conduct. You'll never be one of them. No longer one of us, either. People never see you the same again. Dead leaf. You know that one fine day you're going to have to betray them. It happened to you, sir, didn't it? You've got to stay British. What was it, sir? Uh, for me, it was only a girl. But I saw India through her. Saw things that very few white men, or any men for that matter, will ever see. I loved the East. Never the same again. But it was only a girl. I was no king. Then they have to put it to MacArthur. How do you know he was here? I told him he was here to observe the landings at Brunei. Well, seems like it's out of my hands. It's just as well because I don't really want it on my hands. General Sutherland, the Supreme Commander's Chief of Staff. Colonel Ferguson, sir, Combined Special Operations. Cloak and dagger, huh? Well, I'm sorry to say, Colonel, that the General just doesn't have any time right now for kings or treaties with mythical empires. Although I will say it's uh, certainly entertaining and romantic. You the fellows have got the king? Yes, sir, we do. Well, Dick? Yes, sir! Bring them in? Yes, sir! Sir? Yes, sir. What did he want? Well, sir, he wants freedom. That's what we all want, isn't it? Freedom for his people, sir. And the guarantee they can remain as they are. He wants an allied promise to protect that right, sir. Any papers are always papers. Oh, yes, yes. I've got them right here. Had a treaty drawn up. Sir! You don't have to listen to any more of this nonsense, sir. This is a nonsense, Dick. This is history. History is written by unusual men, some who even become kings, and some who make no more mark than that of a stone thrown into an ocean. What we have here. Well, we just don't know, do we? But, Captain, if you say he's a king, then I'll go along with it. I'll sign these treaties as Supreme Allied Commander of the Pacific Forces. And if your king were here, I'd kneel before him and offer him my sword, if I had a sword. Handle this as you would dealings with any other sovereign. Your copies will be returned in the morning, Captain. Right. As a matter of fact, sir, I've got some copies here. Yeah. Do you? Yes. Yes, yes, you would. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. It's nothing. Besides, you wouldn't leave until I signed, would you? Captain, you remind me of myself. Thank you very much, sir. 
And let me know how things go in the kingdom. Good day. Just a man like any other. It'll never be done. You'll never have to think of it again. History will wash his hands, not yours. Sir. Thank you. You landed in an uproar, sir. You'll see. How's Miss Vivian and the old man, sir? She's fine, Tinker. She's just fine. A present from Moritai. Ah, thank you, sir. Did you miss me? Of course, sir. Things weren't the same. Sergeant Conklin got in a ton of a row with his wife, sir. Wives? Lively! Lively! What is this? Refugees, sir. More come every day. Lively. There's been an uprising on the coast. The Japanese have been quite brutal, sir. Captain, how's your trip? There's no control in I've been away for three days, and you're acting like school children. So, this is the pass of the clouds, hmm? I said I'd show you someday. Gold? Jewels? No, something beyond all that crap. The pass of the clouds. There, there, there. There are the Poonang. We call it the honey gatherers. We call it Valley of the Children. Stone Age. They don't know of possessions. They have no word for jealousy or greed. It's absolutely amazing. Incredible, isn't it? Why do you bring us here? If you follow the gorge of the Padas River and the coastal mountains, you end up here. Go through their caves, and our whole valley is at your feet. And you're afraid the Japs The might. Japs? I'm not afraid of the Japs. I'm afraid of anybody. I want you to read their caves with dynamite. And if something happens, we blow it. They can still come through the jungle, like you did. No one would want it that bad. We control the jungle. It's here. Dynamite. So no one will get in. Ever. So it will be here for all of us. Spoken like a free man. Ha, 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 ha. 
So ended our days of peace. Perhaps some of the happiest of my life. And with the northwesterly monsoon gathering before us, came our days of war. The death agony of the Japanese army in Borneo was as sad as the sinking of a great ship. Bullets, explosives, poisoned arrows, men stumbling through the night, mumbling incoherently. Hunger, men eating weeds, leeches, insects, and each other. Despair, madness. For me, for us, the same period was as thrilling as a cavalry charge. May God forgive us. Sampat. What's he got there? What do you think? It's a regression. Barbaric. Oh, come on, sir. It's good for the longhouse. Besides, it's also an accurate way to keep calm. They slipped with the whole 9th Division. From the beginning, the Nippers moved with a purpose. Here from Tarakan, up this gorge in the Crocker Range. But that's not our concern. Our concern is more immediate. The Phantom Column. The Phantom Colonel. That's right. These have chosen not to die. They fight like Genghis Khan. Destroy everything in their park. No prisoners. Still wear full uniforms, weapons. They even seem well fed. And they move as fast as we do. How? I don't know, sir. But we'll know soon enough. They're coming our way. They say the colonel, a phantom colonel, rides a horse. A horse? A white horse? I don't know, sir. They seem to be going from here to... What's this place called? Past the clouds. Past the clouds. Time of fear. The southwesterly wind brings death. It is the wind of the flies. Who says that? Why? He says that it will end when the northwesterly wind returns. Everything ends. Yes, everything ends. Even me. Don't let this wind come here to us. To our people. Forget this war. This war is for evil men. Send his others on. Let them have the wind of the flies. The wind is too strong. The trees cannot stand in the wind. I must hold them up. It is the only good thing men can do. 
Men dream. Yes. Per dischi tani a dituai. You'll be here to try. But he is a stranger. He's not one of you. Kampar, pekagaram and gawasi. Tenga si, misti bisti garam. What'd she say? She says she wants to be just like you. No. No, 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 no. You must not be like me. You must be much, much more. Not like me. Killed everyone here, didn't they? where they are, sir. What do you mean? They're dead, sir. They're all dead, sir. They've been massacred, sir. That bones. Just bones, sir. What are you saying, Tenka? They're eating the dead. They ain't starving. Cannibals. That's what he's saying. That's how they're living. That's what they're after. Then we must destroy them. Every one of them, my God. Everyone. No quarter asked or given.
They've gone. We've got to get to the longhouse. They've gone. They've gone to the pass, the pass of the clouds. I feel it. I know it. We've got to blow the pass. They're going they've for the kill everyone. Everyone's dead. My whole crew. They can march much faster than we can. We've got to beat up our new... Let's put what's left of the army between them and the longhouse. Get the Get the me! They broke the tunnel. We've got to get to the longhouse.
Vulcans got them spotted in a gorge in the Shrine by Vulcan's Peak. We can hold them there till morning and then call in for the Air Force. Vengeance is futile. It never ends. You tell me that. It's not man that counts. It's life, Leroy. It's life. Blood must be answered by blood. Why are they doing that? Showing me their bravery, suffering. But I've seen enough. It's all gone. All I had in this world. None of it will bring them back. They're gone for tomorrow, the day after, forever. What day is it? What day is it? It's August the 6th. What year? August the 6th, 1945.
It's around eight o'clock. From this day, from this time on, I'll never raise my hand against another man. I went on to pursue the Japanese colonel, who, like the phantom he was, had escaped. All Allied Armed Forces, Pacific Theater. All Allied Forces, China, Burma, India. The President of the United States. The world will know that the first atomic... Yes. I'm awake. Have I been awake before? I thought so. Every day for a little while. Where are we? What's happened? How long have I been here? You're in Brunei, and you've been here almost three weeks. The war. What about...
leave us alone, and we'll leave you alone. It's simple, eloquent. It's great stuff. Conrad, Kipling, the days of high adventure. Lord Leroy de Raja Raya. An Aussie patrol was shot up yesterday. Men have died. You made a deal, signed a treaty. Carthus signed it, I wouldn't. They are not gonna tolerate any kings running around in the hills. He'll never come down, sir. He won't tow the line. He will, poor devil, one way or another. Vivian, would you get me some of that iced tea? Well, yes, of course. Nigel? No, I'm all right, thank you. No one moves very far out of line. When you're young, you think you're blazing a trail. One day you look down and notice it's a beaten track. That's my map, sir. Exactly, Al. What's this place? Pass of the clouds? It's nothing. Just a pass, that's all. Why? The division wants to put a blocking force in there. Send up a battery of 105 millimeter howitzers. And blast him to oblivion wherever he goes. Yes, it won't cost them anything. They have quite a few extra 105 millimeter shells at the end of a war. It's not my plan, but you won't have to. Why? Salt. Yes? They need salt. They get it from the sea. If you cut off their supply of salt, the revolt will die within weeks. No bloodshed. Salt. So simple. What is life without a little salt? Ice! How oh, marvelous. Thank you, Vivian. You feeling all right? Did Judas feel all right? I'm sorry, Vivian. It had to be. We're so lucky to have each other. Most of us have nothing. Let's take something decent out of this wretched war. Somebody ought to. mountain people, we come in peace. Just how might you be, fella? You Raja, King Leroy. You know who I am. Yeah. And what do you think you're doing here? These are the forest people. They need salt. Salt, eh? I heard that. What are you gonna give me for it? You can have me. Sergeant Conklin. Colonel Metamore. But the others, they're free. And what if I don't buy this arrangement?
I'll be with you in the songs they sing in the longhouses. And then when you're older and you have children, well, you'll sing the songs to them. And then they'll sing to their children. And the songs, the songs will make you strong. And you won't need me anymore. Who did this? He refused to speak, sir. Like now. The men gave him a bit of a pasting. After all, sir, he is a deserter. You're a disgrace to the army. You'll be stripped. I didn't want it to be this way. Hands up, shabbity. It always does. I'm sorry. I was never to see Borneo again. The wind from the sea would carry me home. Somehow I managed to go with Leroy. He was in the prison hold, while I had a room to myself. He was to stand court-martial in Manila for desertion, while I was a major with a DSO. Easy stages. And then, somewhere near the Straits of Mindanao... What's the matter, sailor? He's run the ground, sir. Where's the Where's the prisoner kept? In the old. All over there. Get down there. Get down there. Get forward! We've run aground! Aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Who's in charge here? Where's the prisoner? Over there, sir. Prisoner! You're coming with me! Come on! Why was that? This way! Quick! In there, quickly! Forward, sailor, we run aground. What are you staring at? Get going. Uh, this way. Quick. Keep going. Go on. Yeah. Uh, turn around. I give me. I thought it was you. How well do you swim? Well enough. They'll take away your DSO. They've already given to me. Besides, a little luck. They'll never know. Why are you doing this? For king and country. God bless. Now get going! Nice English.
Farewell, my king. Farewell.